Hi! If you watch my videos or listen to the podcast, you've probably heard me say, I hate doing roster predictions. What I meant to say was, I hate doing roster predictions in the summer. With less than a week to go before the season starts, it's exciting! So let's do it, together, for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, I meant to make this video a few days ago, but life comes at you fast. I had 25 forwards competing for what I thought were 13 Leafs forward spots. Really, it was closer to 26, 27. Those forwards in no particular order, Nazem Kadri, Brooks like JVR, Bozak, Mahalik, Komarov, Greening, Martin, Holland, Matthews, Nylander, Lindbergh, Fraze, Hyman, Marner, Kapanen, Gauthier, Reichel, Sashnikov, Brown, Levo, Leipzig, Kloon, Moore, and Proust. I know it's Proust, but what's more fun to say? Thank you, moving on. And then they made some cuts. Among those cuts we had, Kloon, Gauthier, Kapanen, Leipzig, Lindbergh, Trevor Moore, and Kirby Reichel. And then I wrote down two players in red because I thought they were hurt. Nikita Soshnikov and Josh Levo. Turns out it's just Soshnikov, Levo goes back in black. But we're going to go ahead and put a few question marks above him because what the hell are the Leafs doing with Josh Levo? And then right, and I mean right, as I started shooting this video, the Leafs put four players on waivers, including a couple huge surprises, which frankly would have ruined this video. The Leafs put... Andrew Campbell, Byron Fraze, Colin Greening, and Brooks Like on waivers. And the reason it would have ruined this video is I had both Like and Greening making this team. Yes, both make quite a bit of money. And yes, it would have been a little difficult to find spots for them on the roster, but you could smush them in there. Greening was a decent contributor for the Leafs at the end of last season, and Brooks Like, not bad himself, could have been a really decent leader. Now, we should throw this out there that just because these guys are on on waivers does not necessarily mean they're going to the Marlies. But to make things easier, let's go ahead and put their names in red. Mikita Sashnikov's on waiver! Look, okay, I only have so many markers. We are going to use a blue marker to indicate players who I think will make the team. The keeper of the blue marker is Iggy Dude Dangle. Say hi, Iggy. So let's figure out this Leafs roster and we'll start with the forwards and we'll start with some vets to make it easier. Who's the Leafs number one center? I say Nazem Kadri. Nazem Kadri gets the number one center slot. Who plays with with Kadri a lot of the time. Leo Komarov, where does he play? Right wing, probably the Leafs' top right winger right now. That may change. Let's put them both on the top line. Moving on to the second line, but we're not done with the first line. Shut up and work with me! JVR! He's going to be the second line left winger, at least to start the season, which means his center is going to be Tyler Bozak, because that seems to be a bit of a package deal, doesn't it? But why not put Matthews there? Well, because shut up, we'll get to it. Who's another lock? Alright, you guys are going to think this next one is weird. Matt Martin. Yes, Matt Martin is going to make the team. He just signed a huge deal with the Leafs four years. Let's just pencil him in. Marker him in. Why not? Fourth line left wing. Because why not? Now that we're done with some of the vets, what have we been told? Austin Matthews is penciled in as the Leafs third line center. Let's put him there. Okay, we just draw him in there. We take him out of this column here. No, 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 we should give him a heart back. Okay, there's, there's, that's good. Going back to vets, but this one wasn't quite a lock a few weeks ago. Milan Mahalik. I have Mahalik as the team's top line left winger, completing the top line of Mahalik, Kadri, and Komarov. This was a guy who kind of seemed like a salary dump in the Dion Phaneuf deal. Yeah, remember that thing? But in the World Cup and in this preseason, he's actually proven that when healthy, he's still a pretty good player. This isn't to say he's better than JVR or anyone else on the wing on the left or right. I'm just saying it looks like that's how the lines are going to be. So now we get back to the kids. Well, who's as much of a lock as could possibly be William Nylander. William Nylander, second line right winger, right? Well, I would put him there if he wasn't playing with Matthews so much. So we're going to go ahead and put him right next to Matthews, which means who else is going to make the team? That's right, boys and girls. Zach Hyman completes the third line. Hyman, Matthews, Nylander. Not all the time, but often with the Toronto Marlies last season, and sometimes with the Leafs at the end of last season, Zach Hyman and William Nylander were a duo. They were a package deal. Now, I've seen some people tweet things like, oh, Hyman is going to be Nylander's Bozak, or Nylander is going to make Zach Hyman a rich man. I think Zach Hyman is going to make Zach Hyman a rich man. And hopefully he'll make Leaf fans very happy for years to come. This kid's the real deal. Sheldon Keefe, head coach of the Toronto Marlies, loves him. Mike Babcock, you might have heard of him, head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, loves him. He's about to give him a huge opportunity, and that doesn't mean he can't take it away and send him to the minors at some point. We may get into this a little bit more in another video dedicated solely to Zach Hyman, but let's move on. If we're talking about chemistry, if we're talking about earning a lineup spot, who has done a 
good job of presenting his case and who looks like he's building a little bit of chemistry. Mitchell Marner! I got him completing the JVR Bozak Marner line. I'm sure a lot of you do too. I hope Mike Babcock does, which means Mitch Marner makes a Toronto Maple Leaf. Now, this doesn't mean they can't watch his minutes, shelter him a little bit, maybe be cautious with what kind of special teams you give him, but it looks like Mitch Marner has done enough to earn himself a spot in the NHL, which, like Zach Hyman, can be taken away, but in a much different way. He cannot be sent to the minors. This kid could get sent back to junior after nine games. Or maybe he sticks and the Leafs send him to the World Juniors. Or maybe he sticks and they send him to the World Juniors and then back to junior after that before the 40 game cutoff. And then there's performance bonuses that he may or may not hit. So there are some things about Marner that handcuff you and there's also some things that give you special versatility that other players do not give you. Okay, are you tired? I'm tired, we're, we're about halfway through. Let's take a break. Okay, now that we're refreshed, let's round up the lineup. Uh, the rest of the fourth line, I have no idea. Alright, well we got four players in black left, so uh, Peter Holland at center, uh, Connor Brown on right wing, and Josh Levo as the extra guy because he might be hurt or something? Sure, sure, let's go with that. Now that would be easiest of course, right? Well, we're forgetting about someone, aren't we? I'm making a bet right here. The Leafs will sign Brandon Prust. I don't think he would still be in camp this late if they didn't intend on giving him a contract offer. Now, we don't know what kind of contract that's gonna be. Maybe it'll be a two-way thing. Who knows, but I have him making the team over Josh Levo. Which means Brooks Light, Colin Greening, Byron Fraze, Nikita Soshnikov when he's healthy, and Andrew Campbell on defense all go to the Marlies. Which, by the way, is still not a sure thing. It's an if. Now, one thing I did not write on the marker board because it just occurred to me, what if the Leafs keep Prust and keep Levo, which means sending down Brown. That seems to be an easy solution to the problem, doesn't it? Another possibility is the Leafs are waiting until the absolute last minute when teams are just right up against it in terms of roster spots to put Levo on waivers, discouraging teams from taking him and just taking a chance because unfortunately with waivers, that's what you have to do sometimes is just hope for the best. Now, Let's write in the defenseman. This should be much easier. Martin Marinson and Morgan Riley seems to be a pairing that Mike Babcock really likes. We'll put them as the first pair. Jake Gardner and Connor Carrick seems to be a pairing that Mike Babcock really likes. Uh, let's put them together. Sure, why not? Hunwick, Zaitsev, I have no idea, but Hunwick is that one piece of junk food that we allow Mike Babcock to eat, Nikita Zaitsev is going to make the team. So, rounding things off, hopefully the Leafs don't lose Frankie Corrado to waivers. Oh yeah, that little chestnut. And who's left? Roman Polak. Okay, I didn't like the Leafs signing of Roman Polak, uh, but I sort of defended the Leafs signing of Roman Polak. I, I don't like that the Leafs signed Roman Polak. I, I, I don't. I get that he seems like a good guy. I get that he can be a leader. I, I get that he can kind of show the kids the ropes. But if he's not in a battle along the boards, he's helpless. And now, let's slay this dragon, the goalies. And now the suspense. Oh my goodness, who's going to make it? Frederick Anderson is the starter. No way. And Jonas Enroth as the backup. We got ourselves a hockey team, I, I think. I don't know. This is the 2016-17 Toronto Maple Leafs, I guess. So, this is not necessarily the team that I would name. This is the team that I think the Leafs are going to name. They got some interesting decisions they need to make. I mean, I mean, we focus so much on the forwards, but they're carrying eight defensemen, and I think they need some extra leadership there on the back end. But out of those eight defensemen, the worst two are probably Matt Hunwick and Roman Polak. And there's still lots of questions to be answered. Still, even even after all of this, we don't know if all four of the guys that the Leafs put on waivers are even going to clear. We don't know that if they do clear, if they're going to go to the Marlies 100%. They could cut Mitch Marner with a minute's notice. There's at least uh, two guys that I had making the team that, hey, they could just shove on waivers, just shove them on. Or what wouldn't surprise me at all is if they tried to just finagle a little trade. So I turn it over to you. What do you think the Leafs roster is going to look like? Or let's just go into fantasy world. What would you make the Leafs team look like if you were the GM or Mike Babcock? So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all my friends. My friends. Let's, well boy, you better fix that before the season starts, Steve. <coughs> So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends 
There we go. And uh, let's wait for this video to be out of date in like less than 24 hours. That'll be fun. Oh, and watch my last video that I uploaded last night. It's of me making funny faces into a camera. I know. It's new. It's groundbreaking.